Plastic bags are a massive source of waste on our planet. So we're gonna show you how you can put them to a far better use using everyday items. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. So how many of you have a drawer or a bag full of other plastic bags at home? We've had one for as long as we can remember. Now some countries have brought in stricter bans on the use of these plastic bags, but they do seem to be everywhere still, which is completely suffocating the planet. But fortunately, just like bottle tops, plastic bags are actually really easy to recycle at home with nothing more than a trusty old clothes iron. Now we've already done this before in a previous video where we made these little wallets, but these use one or two plastic bags. We wanna see if we can use many more and make something a bit bigger. We're starting off with some larger bags, which we're opening up with a knife and then laying them flat on the workbench to give us a nice base to work from. We simply set a dry iron on its maximum temperature and then use some Teflon baking sheets or even some baking paper to protect it and then press this down on the plastic for about 30 seconds or so. The brilliant thing about this technique is that you can just keep layering more and more bags until you hit a thickness that you're happy with. In between layers, we even chucked in some of the smaller pieces we cut up when we first made the plastic bag wallets. So while you're sat there watching a couple of dudes do some ironing, here are some fun or not so fun plastic bag facts for you. Yahoo! A single plastic bag is used for an average of 12 minutes, but it can last for over 500 years. They're also the most commonly found synthetic item within the stomachs of sea turtles as they mistake them for delicious looking jellyfish. For the top layer, we wanted to mix the colours up a little bit, so we cut up some bags in a random order and lay these on top of the previous sheet and then iron those flat again. And on this top layer, we used a scrap of wood just to make sure it all bonded really nicely. So the whole process took about an hour and we had about eight layers of plastic and that gave us a really tough, leathery type looking sheet. Now at this point we hadn't actually settled on an idea, we just knew that we wanted to make something big. So we went ahead and made a second sheet, which meant we had a lot of material to work with. So now we've got a really decent amount of material to work with and we want to find a good use for it. And since the weather was really nice outside, we took a trip down to our local cafe with our sketchbook in hand and planned some ideas out. Initially we were thinking we could make something like a hammock, but we are a little bit low on palm trees and the UK weather isn't really ideal for hammocking. But we were really keen to test the strength of this new material, so something like a chair or something we can test using our body weight would be a good practical use for it. Then we remembered we had a bench that we made a while back out of PPE that is currently sat in our storage lockup. And since reusing is even better than recycling, we thought we should just repurpose these old legs and apply them to our new chair idea. So we finally decided on a kind of deck chair style where the plastic material would be looped over bars at the top and bottom. To give this an even better chance of holding our great bulk, Rude. <laughs> we're gonna be cutting these up into strips and then weave these together to give it even more strength and keep us nice and secure. And on the topic of security, we've been using our sponsor of today's video, NordVPN, to keep us protected whilst we're online at this very cafe on the public Wi-Fi. So as you're probably already aware, free Wi-Fi networks can be compromised by criminals to allow them to spy on or even alter your data. The NordVPN desktop and mobile app allows you to encrypt your online traffic with one simple click, keeping those prying fingers away. And since we run a business focused on creating online content, we get a load of dodgy, scammy looking emails trying to get our bank details or passwords. Thankfully, NordVPN has a threat protection feature which can recognize malicious links and warn you about dodgy websites before any damage can be done. Thankfully, after a long standard day of ironing away at plastic bags, we can head home and watch our favorite shows from anywhere in the world. 
You can choose from a huge selection of countries, so if there's a Netflix show you are absolutely dying to watch, but you can't where you live, then NordVPN has got you covered. This is also really nice to have when you're traveling, as it means you don't have to miss out on your weekly TV fix from back home. And simply by watching this video, you guys can now get an exclusive NordVPN deal by clicking the link down in the description. And don't worry, it's completely risk-free, as Nord give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. A really big thank you to NordVPN for supporting our channel and keeping us safe online. Now, let's go get our plastic weave on. So once we had our plans sorted, we started cutting our sheets into 60 millimeter wide strips, but we quickly noticed that we had some delamination on some of the middle layers of each strip. It was a little bit worse in some places compared to others, so we just run over each strip one more time with the iron. Lovely, more ironing. Doing this actually meant that the final texture came out really nice and smooth, so there's a bonus. After doing more ironing than either of us have ever done in our entire lives, we ended up with 20 strips of material ready to be woven together. We laid out 10 full strips on our table and then clamped them at one end. We then cut the rest of the strips in half and then weaved those shorter pieces in between those longer ones. Once we got to a length we were happy with, we used the iron to tack the weave together in a few spots just so it didn't fall apart when we lifted it up. Now, we're very fortunate because we have a good pal in the same building as us who is a trimmer and an upholsterer. So we took our plastic leather material over to Kev's and he worked his magic on it by stitching it all together. Now if you don't have a sewing machine or a Kev, then you can definitely hand sew this. We actually use hand sewing on our plastic bag wallet video, so it's certainly possible. Granted, they are a little bit smaller than this chair. Big thanks to Kev for helping us out on this one. We'll link his socials below if you want to see some of the awesome stuff he makes. Once it was all sewn up with a loop at each end, we went over to our container and dug that bench out of storage. We made a full video on how we made this bench out of face masks and other PPE, but in case you missed it, here's a quick overview of how we did it. After we disassembled the bench and took all the screws out, we wanted to try and see if we could fill those holes as the top of the bench legs would now be on show. We drilled the holes a little bit bigger just to give the plastic a bit more space to grab onto and then used a little tiny heat gun to melt an off cut into those gaps. Now after planing and card scraping the surface flat again, unfortunately some of the material got pulled back out of the holes, so it wasn't a great success. There's probably another technique we could have tried, but we were keen to get this project finished, so we just embraced the imperfections. Perfectly imperfect, just like me. We used a card scraper just to tidy up the rest of the surfaces and generally give it a bit of TLC. Card scrapers are always our preference over sanding, as it's much easier to collect up all of that waste. Then we just needed to get our aluminium tubes and threaded bar mounted onto the legs, which we could then slide our plastic bag seat onto. Thank you. 
Those aluminium tubes fitted into the holes that we drilled really nicely, but the chair still had a little bit of a wobble to it, so we used one of those beams that we had on the bench to make a lower brace on that back leg. After some drilling, lots of chiseling, and three celebratory shakers, the chair felt much, much sturdier. So all that was left for us to do was to assemble it and then find a suitable place to give this a nice test run. I'm not sure what you guys think of the final look, but we quite like the ridiculousness of the whole thing. At least the horses seem to like it. Those bright blue legs and that multicoloured woven seat certainly make it look unique. So I think it looks quite cool. But more than anything else, this was a test to see how strong we could get plastic bags to be just by ironing them together. And after the success of this chair, we think a plastic bag hammock might just be possible. Let us know down in the comments if you've got any other crazy ideas for this material. A big thank you to you for watching the video. It's actually really nice to go back and try a technique that we've only actually ever done once before. So yeah, it was good. Another big thank you to Kev for giving us a hand with the sewing and to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Link down below if you want to check them out. Well, we want to say a separate brotherly thank yous to those wonderful, gorgeous, I always come out with the weirdo at this bit. I want to say a lovely, massive thank you to those wonderful patrons in the Brotherhood. We love each and every one of you in your own little, Adorable ways. Thank you. You get that? Thanks. <laughs> we'll hang out more than you with him. He's rubbish. <laughs> uh, there's a link below to our Patreon if you want to sign up. No pressure, but you know, you'll get this kind of thank you, this kind of treatment if you do. Suddenly no one signs up. <laughs> Plummets. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. See you on the next one. Bye. spot the easter egg mistake. Did you spot the easter egg mistake? It was eight strips, not ten strips. I wonder if you saw. <laughs>